Now we've been doing a lot of work, background work as I call it here. So let's uh, give ourselves a little bit of instant gratification if you will so that we can see things working. So what I'm going to do now, let's go back to our main activity because that's where everything begins. Let's go, where is it? Main activity is here. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to get rid of this for now, um, is I'm going to create a method. I'm going to say um, this is going to be private going to be list of course this is going to be returning fragments for us call this get fragments so here I'm going to create a list of fragments I call this fragment list new array list instantiation like that perfect um, I'm going to go ahead and say for int i 0 i is less than fragment list at size i plus plus so I'm going to create a few in fact because we won't know the fragment list for now, let's just go ahead and actually say 5 okay so that we don't have to be dependent on our fragment list we'll use this later time okay so what I'm going to do here is we're going to create I'm going to instantiate our quote fragment fragment to, to I'm gonna go ahead and say quote fragment now notice I'm not going to say new quote fragment because I'm just going to go ahead and instantiate and create a new instance of fragment each time so I can say quote fragment that's this one that new instance and remember we have to pass a string that has quote and the author here I'm going to say Java is the best programmers are the best and for the author <laughs> let's say James Bond because that's what James Bond would say <laughs> or not say fragment list that add that add this quote fragment so we as you can see it's gonna be about five of them um, will be created and of course what we're gonna do is gonna return our fragment list we're going to use this shortly now how do we we need to connect our view pager to our adapter first thing I need to do of course is I'm going to say private uh, let's call this quote adapter or quote view pager adapter I'm going to call quote view pager adapter the next thing I'm going to say private view pager call this view pager and that's good at the bottom here inside of our main I'm gonna say quote view pager let's instantiate our view pager adapter here and remember we have to pass a few things in fact we have to say new as such and for now we have to pass uh, the support fragment manager and we have to pass what well, the actual fragments well, we have the fragments from our get fragments, which, which returns an array list, a list of fragments. There we go. Get fragments like that, and we are in business. Not so fast, because now that we have our quote view pager, we can now say view pager, let's instantiate it, is equal to find view r.id that view pager because we need to collect we need to connect our views here okay now that we have a view pager I can say view pager dot set up uh, set adapter that is I'm gonna pass our code view adapter that's it now if I go ahead and run this I should be able to see a very generic adapter with some text look at that ah Programmers are the best. Programmers are the best. That's two, this is three, that's four, and five. And that's it. It's working, guys. <laughs> right? To show you that this is working, what I can do, I can actually append an I here, which is because we're inside of a loop. So each time is going to say zero, one, two, three, five. Okay, let's save this, give it a run. Programmers are the best. Zero. Programmers are the best. There is one. Programmers are the best. Two. And so forth.
Yes, so our view pager here is connected and it's working perfectly. Of course, the data here is not the data that we want, but at least we know things are good. Things are connected. I don't quite like this font. Let's change that. Let's go to our fragment quote. I'm going to go to design because it's much easier that way. Click on this. Let's change this to something else. Let's go to more fonts. Let me search for Roboto. Look at that. I can't even check which one I want. Let's see medium like this. That should be good. Let me change the size, perhaps. Let's make it about 18. That's good. Let's save, give it a quick run. Uh, not quite. Oh, I don't like that. Let's go ahead and Let's see. Mm -hmm. How about this one? Okay, save. While I'm here, let's see. Maybe let's give it padding. Of about 5 dp. Okay, let's see if that's going to. Uh, let's make it italic style. I like that. Let's see. These are small things that may not make a lot of sense or may not seem a lot, but I like this. Okay, there we go. I like this much better somehow. So now it's time for us to actually get the actual quotes and the actual author names. So let's go back to our quote data.java here, or quote data.java, and structure things around. So the temptation here would be to perhaps create now, because we are dealing with JSON request, which is because we're dealing with fetching data from the internet, um, all this fetching and all of this fetching that happens here, uh, it happens asynchronously. When we get this information, this information will not, may not be available right away as we need it to put inside of our view, inside of our pay view pager, right? So the best way to do this, okay, is for us to create an interface that will allow us to say, once this whole process of fetching our data from our JSON API is done, only then we'll be able to create our fragments and then push all the data into our view pager, okay? Because the temptation would be to say, well, since we're getting these quotes, we can just return this JSON object here, and then we call it good. It won't work. In order for us to get this right, what do we need to do? Let's, let's go back to our quote data here. So here, what we're going to do, I'm going to create, say, quote, list async response. I'm going to call this a callback. And you can see that we haven't created this. No problem click and say create response there we go and there we go so what this is is actually going to be an interface I'm going to say interface as such now interface allows us to create methods that they have that have no body right they don't have an actual body so we have to actually implement those at a class level so I'm going to say void I'm going to say process finish such and I'm going to pass of course an array list of quotes call these quotes now we have to import that of course because this doesn't say import class there we go okay so any class that will implement or extend this quote list as async uh, let's make sure that we actually say async as such which means we'll have to change this Go back to here this has to be async
There we go. Okay. Now, once we have this, let's go back to our quote data. At the end here, make sure we are at the end of our, you can see here it's going to be an end of our for loop. What are we going to do? I'm going to say if, I'm going to start saying null, callback. So it's callback is not null. What do we need to do here is I'm going to say callback dot process finished, and I'm going to pass our quote array list. All right, get rid of that. Okay. So now what are we doing? We are controlling everything. We're saying so if callback is not null, meaning that there is something in our callback, which is our this callback here, which is the quote list async response, then what we're going to do is just call the process finished. And once that's done, process finished, and then we're going to pass the actual quote array list, which is this one, which will contain all of these objects. So we are controlling, making sure that only when this is done doing what it's what it needs to do, which is to go and fetch all of the information from the internet, we only then when it's done, we're going to pass to process finished, and we're going to pass that information. So we know for sure, if we are inside of our main activity here, creating our views and putting everything together, we know exactly that we are ready to indeed invoke the view pager and start inserting the data inside of the view pager because we have that data. Previously, just for us to test, we just hard coded everything. But what we need to do is something different. I'm going to go at the top here, I'm going to go ahead and say new quote data, we we'll say that get quotes. And I'm going to say new quote list async right, because I'm going to call that interface, which you notice has to override the process finished, which coincidentally also passes in our quotes. So now that I have I'm inside here, I can copy these. In fact, I'm going to just get rid of it all together and put it inside here. And this is going to have an issue. Let's make this final. There we go. So we are able to invoke it everywhere. Because I know I have the quotes, which in, incidentally, <laughs> if you go back to our quotes data, it's going to have our quotes array list, which has our quotes objects that came from our JSON API. So I can do things to it or with it. Let's go ahead and say sync as such. Looks like I have an issue. Uh, what did I do? Okay, let's go ahead and refactor all of this because I made a mistake async. Let's say this is quote list async response for some reason. Okay, let's go ahead and create a new one. I think it messed everything up. Let's delete all of in fact, not to worry. I'm just copying everything back. It's just a typo that I made and for some reason everything oh, cancel. All right, let's delete this. Something is not quite right. All right, so we have our list. I'm going to delete this and do all over again. So I'm going to say void process finished. Pass array list. Oops. Of quotes. I'm going to call this quotes. Right, and let's say new quotes. Let's get rid of all of this. Let's see. Bear with me here. All right, let's start over. I'm gonna get rid of this.
get rid of all of these. In fact, I can just clean. Okay. Okay, let's start over. It's just a, a change that I made that didn't response. Let's go to quotes data. Let's use this one. There we go. I think this should work now. Let's come down here now. <laughs> All right, let's try again. So now I'm going to go ahead and say again new quote data. Quotes, new quote. There we go. And perfect. Ah. Let's make this public. There we go. All right. So we made this public. Now life is good. So now that we have our quotes, we can just go ahead and say for int i is equal to zero. i is less than our quotes here that we're getting. That size. Okay. I'm going to say i plus plus. And then what we can do, we can just go ahead and say quote, again, just like what we had before. The quote fragment is equal to new, is equal to new. You notice actually we don't have to say new because we can say quote fragment and use the new instance that creates a quote. For that to happen, we have to pass the string and the quote and the actual author. Well, where do we get that from? We get that from quotes dot get I'm going to pass the i there our index get quote and the next one is going to be quotes dot get again i dot get author just like that that's just a different syntax there but we can put all in one line if you wish you can do so okay once we have that we're going to say fragment list that add we're going to add our quote fragment okay now for this to work we need to tell our system we need to tell our adapter that things have changed so we it needs to redraw everything on the screen so right after our for loop we're going to say quote adapter view adapter we're going to say dot notify data set changed this is very important otherwise you will run into issue otherwise you're going to run into a lot of issues okay and that's it. So now I'll get fragments. It goes and gets our process finished, which, are, which will have our codes ready for us to use. And then we set up our fragment, each of our fragments. And then we set up each of the fragments, depending on how many quotes we're getting from our JSON API. Okay. And of course, we have to call the notify data set changed. And all of that has been called here get fragments we're passing inside of our adapter all right so if we save this and give it a run if all goes well we should see up ah, look at that very nice folks so now you can see you can go left and we have Kevin Cruz Napoleon Hill look at this very 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 nice we can keep going uh, till we don't have any left. So there's a few there, but you can see we were able now to create this very nice view pager. And the most, most importantly, we are able to dynamically populate with data from our server. Very nice indeed. You should be very proud of yourself and very, very happy because this is no small feat and you're able to do it. There's a few things, of course, we need to do uh, to polish our app here. But for now, this is great. It looks amazing. You can see the things you can do now, right? It's very simple user interface. They can swipe left and right, and each time they get a different author with different quotes. Very cool. All right, play around with this concept, and I will see you in the next video.